Good morning, senior kindergartners. It's Mrs. Magel. I woke up really early this morning because I wanted to see if I could find that animal that was making the tracks under the bridge. And I said they were nocturnal, meaning that they're only up at night. So I thought I'd wake up really early and see if I could find them. And on my walk down to the pond, I did spy the deer that were making those paths. And if I turn the camera around, you might be able to see some little white tails way in the distance. Let's see if I can zoom in far enough. But it was a doe and two of her yearlings, which a yearling is a baby that was born last year. So they're still a little bit smaller and they stay with their mom. And I can't zoom in close enough to see them. But they were on the path this morning as I was coming down to try and spy that animal that comes under the bridge every night. So we're going to walk down to the bridge and see if we can't figure out what animal it was. I had a lot of guesses. I had guesses of possums. I had guesses of turtles. I had guesses of um, alligators and raccoons. Um, I think somebody said a snake. So there are a lot of good guesses. One of the guesses really scared me though. Somebody said alligator, and I'd be really scared if it were an alligator, especially because I was wading in that water trying to find the other footprints for you. And if there's an alligator in there, I bet you he goes into the pond. And if he's in the pond, I don't want to be in the pond in a kayak. So I'm hoping it's not an alligator, but we'll see if we can figure it out. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it was an alligator. A huge, scary, dangerous al- Oh, never mind. That was just Nolan's stuffed animal. Thank goodness that was not what was making those tracks under the bridge. And those look like fresh tracks again. So I just missed the animal. But I do have one of his friends that did come so he could show me who he was and if you look the friends that said mr raccoon were right this is just a stuffed animal it's not a real one it was not stuffed or anything like that but look at the claws and the paws on this animal so he is the one that is clawing and making those footprints and remember how I gave you that other thing that I asked you to figure out what's a spring peeper? Well, a spring peeper is not a cricket, even though they do sound very similar to a cricket. A spring peeper is this guy right here. So a spring peeper is a type of frog that comes out in spring and they help us to know when the weather is going to change. So if you guessed a frog, you were very correct. But my friends, not a lot is happening this morning. It's still really kind of cold outside. It's really kind of cloudy. So a lot of the animals are still sleeping, still kind of in their warm den areas or warm homes. And that's where I'm gonna go right now because it is kind of chilly out here this morning. So I hope you had fun. We are going to try and make different videos throughout the next several weeks. We won't do them every day like we did this week because this week we did them for Earth Week. So we wanted to make it kind of fun and special, but we will find different things to make different videos throughout the next several weeks and post those. Oh, I did hear something. Now he's not going to make his noise. It was a woodpecker. Um, but we'll have some fun as we go along. We hope you enjoyed this week and we will see you soon, but don't stop exploring.